All right, guys. First things first, got to get some caffeine in the system. It's funny. It's funny since I've gone back into a caloric surplus, I've gone completely off pre-workouts. It's just coffee. The main ingredient I use in pre-workout has not changed in the three or four years that I've been buying pre-workout. And the main ingredient I use is caffeine. Much better off going to the shop and buying a no-dose tablet, chucking it down and going to the gym. That's exactly the same effect that I get off any other pre-workout. And that's just a little rant on pre-workouts. But with that being said, guys, it's around about four o'clock in the afternoon and I've got two packages that I've been waiting on for like over a week and fingers crossed, they're here. So I've got a jumper with a personalized print on the front, which is gonna be pretty cool actually. I, I, <laughs> I've always wanted this and I can't wait to get it, so I'm gonna show you guys that. And also I've got some proper knee sleeves coming. So I've got knee sleeves that I've bought, they're like 80 bucks, a lot more expensive than any others that I've bought. And I've got three Velcro strips, um, along the back of it. It's not just the sleeve, um, you also tighten it up with these little Velcro strips. So that is two things I'm praying is in my PO box this afternoon, but uh, only time will tell. And I'm going to catch up on some YouTube, upload a couple of episodes that I edited last night, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. You guys want to see something cool? We've got a little wallaby in my backyard. Let's go check him out. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Hey. Now that's cool. Fuck. Nope. All right. Fucking hell. Yeah, I just finished training delts. It was chest and delts. Holy fuck. Look at that. That's a pump, all right. Anyways, guys, uh, back for the second session of the day. And as I said, I do go a bit crazy on uh, night shifts. If I get up in the afternoon and I've got four hours before I go back to work, I'm coming back for a second session. So that's exactly what we did today. Just finished chest and shoulders. No footage, just in and out, smashing it. I'm feeling really good in the gym at the moment. Nah, there is far too many people coming around and I'm not prepared to stand like a tool in front of everyone with no top on. Alright. We're home now. Chest and shoulder workout. We had a first incline press movement on a machine. Then I went over to a flat press on a, a seated machine. So two pressing movements, both machines. I went hard, I went heavy. I'm motivated as fuck to train right now. I want to hit PBs, you know, every single session. I'm not hitting PBs every single session, but I go in with the mindset that, you know, I'm strong, I'm feeling strong, I'm feeling good. Let's go hard. And that's exactly what I've done today in two workouts. After the pressing movements, I went over to the flies, got cables out, and did some from the top or slightly above shoulder height coming down, um, some from a, a medium neutral, neutral angle coming through, and some from the bottom coming up, targeting the upper chest. So following that, we went over to the first of the shoulder movements, which was a behind the neck press. I'm actually preferring behind the neck press to 
your normal conventional you know, front press. Um, there's something about the front press that just doesn't feel good with me. I don't know if it's my, my structure, um, you know, my shoulder mobility, I'm not sure what it is. It just doesn't feel that good and behind the neck um, allows me to keep it nice and locked and um, as long as I don't go down too far, it's a really good movement for me at the moment. Following that, we went over to the dumbbells. I grabbed the 15 kilo dumbbells and I did sets of 12 to 15 side raises, followed by a drop set to finish on the fifth and final set of side raises with 15, 12.5 and then 7.5 kilo. So by the end of it, like you guys saw in the car park, my shoulders were pumped as fuck and they're still, you know, still relatively relatively pumped. So post-workout meal guys, uh, about to go down. We've got my third and final night shift of this block and it's a really great feeling and tomorrow it's arms day so that's a great feeling. We hit legs, back and chest and shoulders in the last four workouts so it's time to hit some arms. Can't wait for that. Post-workout meal about to go down. I'm going to leave you guys now. You know, when I've got night shift, I tend to go a bit crazy. I don't sleep as much as I should. I just feel like there's things to do. You know, if I get up at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and I'm starting at 7 or 8 at night, I'm going to go down for a second session. There's no way I'm not going to. There's just too much time to think, sit around and think about things. I've got no time for that, man. I've got to get down to the gym and start making some gains. And especially, especially now that I'm trying to actually be in a surplus and actually build muscle and make gains. I can train everything twice a week and get away with it and you know recover well enough to continue. The, the struggle at the moment is actually finding the time to fit in each muscle group twice a week. So you know whether I group them together like I did tonight, whether I do legs push pull, whether I go to the gym twice a day, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it um, going forward but when I do have night shift it allows me to either train twice a day or just fundamentally not be in a rush and uh, not have to you know, rush through my workout. So I am spending probably about an hour and a half average in the gym per workout at the moment, which is a lot longer than what I'm used to. So I'm feeling good, as I said, We're fucking making gains, man. I'm feeling bigger already. I, I really am. I've filled out. Um, I've done all my filling out. My glycogen stores are full all the time. I do feel a little bit softer around the stomach area, but it just comes with it. I really don't give a fuck. I'm well and truly motivated as hell to continue this series, One Year of Gains. Thanks heaps for coming along. That was episode number, I'm not sure. I'll be back with you guys on day 21 for a week three, physique, weigh-in, macro, training, all that shit update for all you guys because I haven't even done that. I haven't even told you guys what I weigh. So I definitely need to do that because <laughs> I'm a few kilos heavier than the last time I weighed in. So, so with that being said, guys, wherever you are in the world, have a great day or a great night. Train hard, eat well. I'll be doing the same over here in little old Alice Springs. And that's us. Mr. Olympia, Kevin Lavroni, he's coming. He's coming. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up.